Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to use the command find string in Windows. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually the best way to show you how to use this uh, command find string is to use it with examples. Okay. So as you can see here, I am on my desktop and I have here, as you can see, a file called serial.txt. So let me first show you the content of that file. So I'll use here the command more just to show you the content of this file, but you can also open it using notepad if you want. So as you can see here, it's a pretty simple file that contains just uh, some uh, lines. So the first line contains serial key office 2007. And here we have uh, serial key. We have also some information about the website. The fourth line contains your key is valid. And also for the fifth line, Microsoft Office 2022. Okay. So actually, this command here, find string, it's pretty simple to use, okay? So the basic syntax is actually find string, then the string that you are searching for, and finally the line, or actually the text file that you want to search for. You can search for text file or any ordinary file if you want. So for example, let me search for the string key in my file. So here I am on the same folder where my file resides. So I don't have to put the full path to this file because I am on the same directory. So I have only to input the file name. So this basic syntax here means that I am looking for the string key and the file serial.txt so i will hit enter and see the result et voila as you can see the output is the line containing actually the keyword or the string key but if you remember if we open this file here we have actually two lines that contain this word key so why this command is outputting just one line simply because the first line the key letter is capital and in second one it is actually in lower case so the command here is actually case sensitive so if we put or if we input the file with capital letters or lower letters is not the same thing okay so let me uh, this time input key with capital K. Here we go. So this time it has shown me the first line serial key office 2007. Okay. It not it's not like the first output which which shows me the fifth line which is your key is invalid. Okay. So make attention, find string is key sensitive, but how can we make it case insensitive? So it's pretty easy. Actually, you can use switches or parameters for the commands. So if we want to output the two files or the two lines actually that contains even the string is capital or lower, we can simply add here switch slash capital I okay so and this time it will output the two lines so the first line contained the key with the K in capital and the second line contains the key string with lowercase for the K letter okay so remember that find string is key sensitive okay another thing let's say that we want actually to search for two strings instead of one 
so it's pretty simple we can use the same uh, command but we have to input the strings inside codes so let's say for example I want to search for the string invalid okay and space I want also to search for example for the string office so as I told you if you want to search for multiple string you must enclose them inside codes here we go so now this command will output any for any line contains either invalid or either office so let's say that here we go so the first line contains the, f the first string which is invalid and the second line contains the second string which is office okay so if you want to look for multiple patterns or strings just enclose them in or between codes okay another thing we can also use this command which is actually most used for using pipes so we can redirect the output of a command to this find string command so I will show you an example for example so for example if you are using a command in Windows for example like uh, ipconfig which shows the IP address of your computers here so you can see here I have a bench of output because I have actually a lot of uh, cards so in my PC so it depends so the first Ethernet adapter here this is the IP address the second one has another IP address and the third one has another IP address so we can actually uh, redirect the output of this command ipconfig to find string and search for string but before to do that we have to separate them but by the pipe symbol which is a bar okay and all we have to do here is to add the keyword or the string that we are looking for so for me for example I'm looking just for the gateway so I'm looking for the gateway okay so here it will input or it will output actually just the line containing the keyword gateway Okay, let me show you that so this is it as you can see I have these lines containing the keyword getaway so actually I have four lines containing the keyword getaway and first one is the one that has an IP address so I have successfully redirect the output of the command IP config to the find string command okay we can also use it with other most used commands in Windows so for example we can redirect the output of the command netstat so the netstat command is used to show the active connection in your PC so it shows me actually all the established and open connection to other sites but I can just filter using the pipe symbol here with the find string command to look just for the established connections and established here is in capital because the netstat command actually gives us the established connection with this keyword in capital okay here we go so now I have filtered the output of the command needs that to just show the established connections so this is the use of this uh, netstat command in actually the most used for windows commands so if you want to extract useful information and to filter it out you can use this find string command 
actually we have an equivalent in uh, Linux world so if you're using Linux there is a similar command used grep so the grep command is used also to filter and to search for keywords in the command of Linux okay so remember whenever you have some information that you want to filter or you want to extract use the find string command in Windows okay and finally I will just show you you can get more help about this command using just find string slash and exclamation symbol and here we go we have the help of this command with all switches that you can use for example slash capital B matches patterns if at the beginning of the line okay and with capital E matches patterns if at the end of the line so you can look at this uh, useful help here and we have here also the syntax that you can use okay and of course the definition of this command search for string in files okay so you can also use it with the regular expression but that's another story okay so that was just a brief introduction how to use this very useful and extracting tool for Windows environment as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye